What's howling, Lobos? Welcome back to La Mesa Live. Today is Friday, excuse me. <clears throat> Today is Friday, October 27th. I'm Darby, and this is my co-anchor, Carrie Lynn. Please stand and join us for the Pledge of Allegiance. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Hey, Lobos. Our Halloween bash is coming up. On October 31st, we will be having an amazing DJ, party pumper, and food and drinks will be included in our ticket price. Tickets are still only $10, but the price will be $15 at the door. Get yours sooner rather than later. Attention Robotics members. Our second practice for this week will be today from 3.20 to 5 o'clock in room, in room 505. Please be sure to have your consent form signed and bring it with you. If you cannot make it to the practice and need the form, Please come see Mr. Pumpa Nitschko in room 232. Don't forget, Lobos, we have another Ignite meeting in room 502 during lunch today. Please see you there. Hey, Lobos. Our volleyball tournament has officially kicked off. Congratulations to Team Jeffies for winning our first game. The Six Diamond Penguins Bottle Caps, Twin Towers and Company, and Court Crushers will be playing in the gym next Thursday, November 2nd. All teams meet in the gym within five minutes of the lunch bell. See you guys there. The Tabletop Club meets today at lunch in the library. Join us for some gaming fun. We here at La Mesa Live, <laughs> I'm sorry, are very proud of the entire campus staff. <laughs> sir. As you know, there are several new faces at La Mesa. Last month, we introduced you to new members in the office. Here are some new teachers on our campus. As you may know, there are many new teachers on campus. Today, we're going to introduce you to three of them. Let's go meet them. Hi, I'm Mrs. Lieberman. I'm teaching eighth grade English this year at La Mesa. What is your favorite part about being a teacher? Um, I love that, well, the relationships that I get to form with students, and I love that from year to year, teaching is never the same. So I can be teaching the same subject, I can be doing the same lessons, but because of the interactions with the kids, nothing's ever the same. So it's never a job that's like punch the clock and you come in and your day is exactly like it was last year and the year before and the year before. And what, what inspires you to be a teacher? Um, I actually wanted to be a teacher almost my whole life. Look back on my elementary school years in particular, um, I just loved them and like a lot of elementary school teachers, I fell in love with my teachers and I wanted to be one. So I actually taught elementary school for about 18 years before moving to uh, teaching junior high, which I love now. Hi, I'm Octavio. Thank you for joining us this morning. Hi Octavio, nice to meet you. So who are you? My name is Gwen Delgado and I am a seventh grade world history teacher here at La Mesa. So what inspired you to become a teacher? What inspired me to, or who inspired me to become a teacher was actually my high school history teacher who was very supportive and he made history alive for me. And I just remembered having that great feeling of always wanting to be in his classroom. And it inspired me to want to do the same thing every day. All right, uh, what do you like about teaching? What I like best about teaching is what watching and seeing my students grow not only academically but socially as well and becoming these great young adults that are going to grow up to do amazing things. Hi Rosita, thank you for joining us this morning. So who are you? Hello, <laughs> my name is Diane Antelon. Um, I'm a teacher here at La Mesa and I teach seventh grade science. What inspired you to be a teacher? A lot of things have inspired me to be a teacher, and a lot of it also has come from my parents. Um, my parents brought my brother and I here to the United States so that we can have a better education and a better future. 
Um, and growing up in school, it was very difficult for me because I was behind grade level. And learning English uh, was very difficult for me. Um, so I struggled a lot in school, but I did have some very good teachers that helped me through it. They supported me. And because of that, I started to love learning. And so now, finding my career, I want to be able to help other students that might be struggling um, and just help them to enjoy learning as much as I do. So that's why I became a teacher, is to help other kids. And what's your favorite part about teaching? The kids. I love teaching the kids. I love science. I love teaching science to the kids. Um, and I think just seeing the kids when, they're, when, they don't, when they don't understand something and then they finally get that aha moment where they're like, oh, I get it now. Just seeing them learn and get excited about learning, uh, that's probably my favorite part because I know that I'm helping to make a difference and then they'll go on to make a difference in the world too. Now that you know a little more about them, don't be shy and say hi. Today in history, on October 27th, 1904, the first rapid transit subway system in America opened in New York City. Today is also the birthday of 26th President of the United States, Theodore Roosevelt. He would have been 159 years old. The word of the day for today is extravagant. It is an adjective. The definition is exceeding limits of reason or extremely expensive, excessive. A sample sentence will be, to help motivate him study, Brian's dad promised him an extravagant sea, ski trip as a reward for making the honor roll. Something you should know about today. Today is National Navy Day. It is a day to salute all of the men and women who have served, both past and present, present in the United States Navy. The United States Navy is the Naval Warfare Service branch of the United States Armed Forces and one of the seven uniformed services of the United States. The U.S. Navy is currently the largest, most powerful Navy in the world with the highest combined battle fleet tonnage. The service has over 340,000 personnel on active duty and more than 71,000 in the Navy Reserve. October 27th was chosen as the date because it was the birthday of President Theodore Roosevelt. President Roosevelt had been an assistant secretary of the Navy and supported a strong Navy as well as the idea of Navy Day. Well, that's our show. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back here on Monday. For Darby and the entire crew of La Mesa Live, I'm Carrie Lynn. Have a World Series weekend. <laughs>